Hi everyone, welcome to Practice Problem Inventory 04. This one is going to be all about calculating cost of goods sold in a periodic inventory system. So here's your problem. FlyerCore uses a periodic inventory system. During the current period, it recorded 4,200 in net inventory purchases. FlyerCore's comparative balance sheet shows a 30,000 inventory balance at the end of last year and a 20,000 inventory balance at the end of the current year both based on physical inventory counts performed. Determine how much Flyer Core should report on its current income statement for cost of goods sold. So just one thing I want to point out before you start on this, in case you're not familiar with the term comparative balance sheet, all that's referring to is a balance sheet where you have multiple columns showing you not only the current year, but the prior year or prior two years for comparison purposes, okay? So with that said, try this on your own, pause the video. When you're ready, come on back and I'll walk through the solution. All right, welcome back. So here we go. When we think about cost of goods sold in a periodic inventory system, we have to take into consideration that in a periodic inventory system, we are not tracking cost of goods sold with every single sale that is made. Instead, we have to do a little bit of an analysis of the inventory ledger. And specifically, what we're going to care about is how much inventory did we start with, or what's known as the beginning balance. So beginning balance. In this case, we know that the beginning balance is 30,000. That was the inventory balance at the end of last year. And anything you end with the year before is what you start with in the current year. So beginning balance is 30,000. We're going to care about what did we buy that increased this amount, right? That's beginning balance, but that's not necessarily what we had available for sale. We're gonna to add to this our net purchases. So notice we had 4,200 in net inventory purchases. So that makes inventory go up, net purchases. The combination of these two is what's known as cost of goods available for sale. So that's the total amount of product that we could have sold to customers. From there, we need to know one other thing, and that is how much inventory did we end the period with, which we know to be $20,000 based on our balance sheet for the current period. That is ending balance. Now, where do those numbers come from? Well, those numbers come from physically counting the inventory. People go out to the, to the sales floor, to the warehouses, the trucks. They count the inventory on hand put it in the system, the system calculates the value of that inventory, and that's where these balances come from. So the question is then, how much are we putting on our income statement for cost of goods sold? Well, the combination of this tells us how much we had available for sale, 34,200. This tells us what's left, 20,000. So if we do the math on that, what that suggests is that we lost 14,000 $200 worth of inventory during the period, and that inventory is presumed to have been sold, cost of goods sold. Now, of course, it may not have all been sold. Some of it might have been stolen or damaged or whatnot, but nonetheless, all of that is simply a cost of selling the good. Therefore, it is all kind of dumped into this cost of goods sold account, um, and that is how you figure out cost of goods sold in a periodic inventory system. All right, that's it for this one. Hope you found it helpful. Hope you join me for another.